We are right now in MVP settlement in northern Uganda with a, a refugee population of about 128,000 refugees. This is one of the largest refugee crises in the world. We have more than one million refugees in Uganda at the moment who are South Sudanese. It's a, it's a crisis in the sense that as much as the government of Uganda has been so hospitable, they do not have the resources to respond to the need to that many people at the go. The basic needs, especially first of all water and food, is, uh, is something that the government of Uganda could not respond on its own, so it's, uh, it's, it was necessary for all partners to come together. As Co did definitely, um, uh, thanks to, to the donation uh, for the famine campaign, uh, we were able to respond as well and, and quite quickly. Uh, we got a very good reputation in the camp because of how effective and how quickly we have responded. So we are already in the zone three where Code Aid is supplying water to the beneficiaries. So where we are standing here is our motorization source. We have a borehole uh, right away at uh, the other side where we're getting water from using the solar uh, motorization system. This is where we can store water before we start the distribution. We have 10 tapping stations. Each tapping station is having three facets or three outlets. And each outlet basically is supposed to be providing water to 250 uh, people. So at the end of the day, when you put in your calculations, we are providing water to 4,600 uh, uh, 600 beneficiaries. I think in general the implementation has been uh, very, very, very successful with the results that, that you can see. My name is Anthony Adide, is a community leader in the settlement. Thanks to the Dutch public for helping us, giving us a constant flow of water in this settlement. 